vlogging about beer on YouTube against the rules or is it just frowned upon? I have my channel marked that it's not for kids, so I'm thinking frowned upon. I can live with that. I have been craving adventure. I have been craving flavor. I decided that I was gonna get all that in a liquid form today. So I went to my local liquor store, Broadway Liquor, right here in Leavenworth, Kansas. And I bought a local beer, local-ish, Kansas City. I'm in Leavenworth, it's not that far. I bought a little variety pack. Came with four different kinds of beer in it. Four different kinds, we're gonna give them a try. I'm not a beer professional. I know that I often satisfied with the Coors Light. My favorite beer is made by Boulevard and it's a honey wheat. Maybe it's just wheat. It's delicious. Like I said, I don't know a whole lot about beer. This could be fun. I kind of wish my husband was here because he makes some of the best bitters beer schlagens, you know? Where should we start? I think <laughs> this one's in my hand, so let's do this. Is it like wine? Oh heavens to Betsy. She's a strong girl. She, she, ain't, she ain't playing around, okay? Uh, whew, I don't know. This this beer smells like you could chew it. I'm gonna get a glass and we're gonna we're gonna look we're gonna pour it and we're gonna look at it. So let's. That's pretty dark. She's pretty dark. Oh wow. Um. Maybe I need to you know invest in some of those little taster glasses and. That'll be a part two when I come home with a different variety pack. It's pretty dark. Like I said, it smells like you can chew it. It's the Rye IPA India Ale from Boulevard Brewing right here in Kansas City. Here we go. <sighs> Tastes like grapefruit. I, I could drink a whole bottle of this. I could. I'm 46 now. I don't drink to get drunk so much anymore. I, I like to drink for the experience and the flavor. And this is really fantastic. It is strong. It is a strong flavored beer. but And I do get that rye. It tastes like a grapefruit. I like it. Okay, I think next I'm going to try the single wide IPA India Ale. So this is what I don't know a lot about, right here. It doesn't have a very strong smell. Let's see what she looks like. Oh, she's... She's a lot clearer and maybe a little bit lighter than the rye. This is the single wide IPA. <sighs> Smells like beer. Huh. Mm. That one is, uh, it's grapefruity too. The rye again, we're just gonna compare. The rye is a lot deeper of a flavor. This tastes a lot more green, if that makes sense. Green and fresh. I like, I think I like the rye better than the single wide. It, it tastes like a more cheerful, friendlier version of the rye. I don't think that I would specifically ask for this beer that I would you know say I want the single wide IPA mm, I don't think it's really my thing next I'm gonna try the Zon I guess that's how you pronounce it Zon Zone uh, with the beer and hope I don't get bitter beer face bitter beer slogan Coriander and orange peel. Coriander. Coriander is the seed that grows into cilantro, right? And then orange peel. Let's, uh, they were. I don't smell oranges at all. I don't. I don't really know what I smell. Um, oh. That's a. 
very light color. Kind of matches its little, the yellow part on its label. Uh, okay, let's smell it. I smell the orange peel now I can get my nose really deep down in there. That's what she said. So let's give this a taste. I'm expecting it not to be as strong as the rye or the single wide, just based on the color and the and the scent alone. It's a lighter scent. Dang, what is that? What is happening? In this what is happening with this beer I don't know it doesn't taste like beer at all first of all and it's not sweet I'm not saying it tastes like a wine or anything it tastes um, I don't even really taste the orange or the cream I don't know what's happening with you but I like you you're fun we could hang out I'm gonna drink a bottle of that later with steak I really enjoy that. Very mild, very subtle beer flavor. I, I'm in love with the color. It's not clear. There's, there's a lot going on inside of there. But I, I, look, I don't know who down at Boulevard who came up with, with this, but I am here for it. I am, huh? Yum. Last but not least, we have the Honey Blonde Ale, which was named after me clearly I think we can assume there's honey in it um, and that it's it's an ale <laughs> All right. I mean I'm not a smart man but I know what dumb is okay let's pour this oh oh god what's happening oh I got the honey that time what what? That's so cool. God, that just smells incredible. I smell that honey. Mm. Oh, she tastes just like honey too. I don't know. I don't know. Man, I wanted to be excited about you, but I, hmm. With the honey aspect, kind of expected it to be maybe a little sweeter. The sweetness is, is not in there. Um, I'm not disappointed. Don't, don't misunderstand me. The honey flavor is prominent. I really like after. My mouth tastes like I just ate a honey biscuit. Pretty, it's pretty good. I'm trying to think like what it would be paired with, what I would, if I was gonna eat a meal. I don't think it would be a, a burger or a steak. Uh, maybe some grilled chicken with a sweet potato on the side and one of these beers that might really help bring out the flavor. Something sweet and savory along with it. I'm gonna have to say that I think this zone, zan, beer is, is is my favorite out of the four um, I probably would like to drink the rye if I was just wanting a beer like sometimes you just are craving a beer and I think that this would really fulfill that beer need like I said though it's it's very um, grapefruity I don't think I was a very big fan of the single wide so, number one, da, my number two choice is the rye. Number three, I think, would be the honey blonde ale. And then coming in last is the single wide. Look, I, I drink it if you give it to me for free. Hopefully the next time I'm up at Old Broadway Liquor, they'll have a different variety pack. There's also a brewery in Lawrence, Kansas called Free State and they also sell a variety pack so maybe next time I'll get that and we can talk about it and in the meantime I think I'll try to learn a little bit about beer tasting so I could just bring you a little bit more of an informed review instead of the uh, cast so sassy lady on the street review thank you so much for watching 
I really, uh, I really do appreciate you. And I hope that you're having a great weekend. And whatever you drink, I hope it's making you feel good vibes. Good summertime vibes. Like me and this honey blonde. Me and this honey blonde gonna go be alone. Okay, bye.